The white line target itself was um, delineated a few years ago with a, with a survey and an era mag survey that was run by a previous um, previous owner of the asset. And I think uh, what drew us to the asset, what drew us to the white line, um, for the potential of the asset was the fact that we have this this beautiful donut shape anomaly, um, which you know looks very similar to other assets in, in the region or to the south of us, which have produced uh, multi-million ounce deposits. So it was something that uh, we thought was um, you know would have to come up the list of our priorities, and it was a target that we want to follow up on. Yeah, the bullseye magnetic anomaly really represents, you know, the potential for the a mineralized or a, or an intrusive plug, uh, a, a, an intrusive body at depth below, below and adjacent to the Alice River. Alice River fault zone, and so something that can potentially host um, and bring up a lot of mineralized fluid and mineralization with it, and there obviously um, associated with that can be can be uh, significant amounts of gold and and or copper. Uh, so something along the lines of a porphyry style system, uh, bulk tonnage, and, and a large target which has you know the potential to produce a multi million ounce system. Well, yeah, more than long-term potential, the short-term potential. I think. Uh, I mean, we've just um, we just completed a heritage survey over the white line. We're waiting for those permits to come through for us to be able to drill these to drill these anomalies. And I mean, what what it means for us is look. You look at Mount Nation. Mount Nation itself was a magnetic anomaly. It was a, a, basically a, a large brecciated system uh, at depth with an associated uh, chargeability high. The chargeability high was was basically giving off from the large amounts of sulfide mineralization that we were, which were um, yeah, deposited into the asset. And we're getting the same thing. And that, you know, Mount Lation was circa 5 million ounces all up. They mined, I think, 3.5 million ounces out of Mount Lation over the years. It was a massive, massive deposit, a very important deposit. And I think if you've got a geological, geological, sorry, geophysical signatures, which are very, very similar, then as an as exploration company, you know, it, the, it means that there is potential for us to replicate what was what was found at, at Mount Lation. And so we've had you know, people who've worked on both the assets, on the Mount Lation asset and on the White Line asset, look at them and say, well, there is there are significant similarities in the geophysical signatures that we're seeing between the two, between the two assets. Therefore, you know, I think the follow up now for us is to do a little bit more work on the on the geophysical side with a, with a ground mag um, survey and potentially a Paul Dipole survey, final targeting, and then hopefully be drilling within the next two months in the asset. The white line target that we've got, the geophysical anomaly, doesn't. Um, isn't uh, comparable at all to previous discoveries at, at, at Alice River. The recent, the, the previous discoveries were all associated with uh, fault-hosted um, intrusive related gold systems. So, um, you know, large faults, um, a lot of movement on a, on a regional scale and uh, mineralization being deposited in that, in that fault zone. This is a intrusive um, system which is sitting off about 500 meters to the south of that illustrative fault zone. It could be associated with that fault zone, uh, but the mineralization style will be significantly different. Um, and, you know, from a high grade narrow vein or high grade or a bulk tonnage, um, uh, low grade system like we're seeing up at the, up at the Alistair Central area, this could be a more of a, a copper gold system or a, or a deeper copper high grade, a deeper high grade gold system than what we're seeing, but definitely a different style of mineralization. Look, how does one line fit it? Is it is just part of the exploration program that we have? We need to. We have a large land package. We have almost 400 square kilometres to cover. This is one of the targets we developed as we continue exploring the asset, uh, and it's just next cab off the rank, really. So we, as we continue to drill off the central areas in the northern part of the um, the asset package, such as um, Victoria, the Southern Targets, Posse, Jerry Dodge, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, this forms another target that we're going to be able to follow up on as we continue to develop the, the Alice River Gold project. So it's just part of the portfolio as we move forward. Um, you know, we've raised money this year and we'll be investing that money into basically trying to 
delineate a large multi-million ounce asset on, on Adal's River.